Good morning. Welcome you all to the second class of our first chapter sets. In the last class, we discussed about the definition of sets and some of their elementary concepts. Let us recall it at first. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. We name a set using capital letters. The elements of a set are also called objects or members. If and the elements of a set are usually denoted by small letters in English A, B, C. And if small a is an element of set capital A, then we write A belongs to A. And if A is not an element of the set capital A, then we write A does not belongs to A. Okay. Now, we are going to, we, today we are going to learn how to represent a set. There are three different methods to represent a set. The first method, to understand the first method, observe the example. Let A be the set of all natural numbers less than 6. Clearly A is a set. Which are the elements of A? natural numbers less than 6. They are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We listed all the elements of the set and separating the elements by commas. Separating the elements by commas. After that, we want to put a bracket like this. Okay. We have done three things. Listed all the elements separated the elements by commas and the enclosed within brackets. Name of the set is A. This is a method of representation of a set. This method is called roster form or tabular form. Roster form or tabular form. In roster form, we want to list all the elements of the set, separating the elements by commas and enclosed within braces like this. Clear? Now let us see another example. B be the set of all vowels in English alphabet. Which are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Then write all the elements, separating the elements by commas and the enclosed within brackets. The name of the set is B. In short, in a roster form, we want to do three things. First one is list all the elements. Second one is separate the elements by commas. And third one is enclosed within brackets like this. Okay. Write this fact, these points into your notebook. The points you want to write in your notebook is displayed in the screen having white background. Please remember. Then write it in your notebook. Write the heading first. Representations of a set. First method is roster form or tabular form. In this form. We list every elements of the set, separating the elements by commas and the enclosed within braces. Example number one, A be the set of all natural numbers less than six, then A is equal to set one, two, three, four, five. Another example, B be the set of all vowels in English alphabet, then B is equal to set A, E, I, O, U. That example, C be the set of all even natural numbers. Which are the even natural numbers? Even natural numbers are 2, 4, 6, 80, etc. We cannot write all the numbers, all the elements in the set. But we can write the sequence. By observing the sequence, we can say which element belongs to or does not belong to the set. Clearly, 100 belongs to the set and 101 does not belong to the set. By simply observing the sequence, we can say it uh, uh, with, without doubt. Okay. Now, Two more points relating to roster form. See the example. A be the set of all students in your class. Let A be the set of all students in your class. Suppose there are five students in your class. Their names are A, B, C, D, E. Okay. How can we write it, this set in roster form? A is equal to, tell me, S equal set A, B, C, D, E. Then A is equal to A, B, C, D, E. Clear? 
Do we want to write these names in this order? No, we can write these this names, name of students in any order. B, A, C, D, E, D, C, B, A, E, E, D, C, B, A. We can write the name of students in any order. The order is not important when we write the name of students in a class. Okay, we can write like this, we can write like this. In short, in roster form, we can, uh, the elements in which, the order in which the elements are listed is, has no relevance. Okay, in roster form, the elements can be listed in any order. In roster form, the elements can be listed in any order. These all sets are equal. Okay, set 1, 2 is equal to set 2, 1, set 1, 2, 3 equal to set 3, 2, 1, set 2, 3, 1, etc. The order in which elements are listed is immaterial in roster form. Clear? Another point is that, suppose this set A, B, A, C, A, A, B, C, D, E, C, A, E. Okay, here I write A five times, but we consider it is it has a single one we count it only one time okay even i write a five times this just uh, an effect of only one time okay b here there are, there are, there are two times but it is counted as only one see there are three times and um, we count it as only one in short this set is equal to what set a b c d e therefore in roster form gen generally the elements are not repeated if one repeat the elements it is just counted as only one in roster form the elements are not generally repeated this is the second point these two points you want to remember when discussing roster form so write in your notebook as notes notes number one in roster form elements can be listed in any order for example Set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to set 3, 5, 4, 1, 2. Second point, in roster form, elements are not generally repeated. Okay, for example, set A, B, A, C, A, A, B, C, D, E, C, A, E is equal to set A, B, C, D, E. Clear? Now, we are going to learn the second method to represent a set. Okay, our first method, roster form, has some limitation. So, we are going to learn the new method. Observe the example. Here be the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5. Can you write this set into roster form? Here be the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5. Can you write this set into roster form? Please try. After pausing the video. Yes. Sometimes you may write like this. Yes, equal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you write your answer like this for this question, then your answer is wrong. Because the number, the real number after 1 is not 2. The real number after 1 is not 2. 1.1 is real number, 1.2 is real number, 1.3, 1.01, etc. are real numbers. Then this answer is wrong. Then how can we write this? A is equal to 1. What is next number? First number is 1. That is no doubt. What is next number? If you write 1.1, there is another number 1.01, another number 1.001. In short, we cannot write all the real numbers from 1 to 5 in roster form. Since we, can, we can't list it. Okay. And they have no a certain pattern. Therefore, to represent this, this is a set. But we cannot represent this set in roster form. Clear? What is the reason? This is the uh, real line. We want to write all the real numbers from 1 to 5. The set of all real numbers, the collection of all real numbers from 1 to 5 is infinitely many and that has no certain pattern. Okay, therefore we cannot write it into it in uh, roster form. So we are searching for another method. That method is this. S equal to, we read this like set of all x, this colon is read as x, sorry, such that. Set of all x is such that. Set of all x such that we represent all the elements of a of this set by x. We represent all the elements of a set of this set by x, and then we write the property possessed by all the elements of the set. Okay, what is the property? This all are real numbers. X is a real number, and that real number is 
from 1 to 5 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 5 this is the common property x is a real number and 1 less than or less than or equal to 5 is the common property possessed by all the elements of the set also this property does not possess by any element outside this set to represent a set by stating the property is called a set builder form or rule method set builder form or rule method in set builder form we represent a set by stating the single common property possessed by all the elements of the set which is not possessed by any element outside the set we represent a set by stating the single common property possessed by all the elements of a set that property is not possessed by any element outside the set clear now let us uh, uh, see another example we will set up for vowels in english alphabet how can we write this in set builder form how can we write in roster form basically set a e i o u then how can we write this set in a set builder form just write b is equal to set of all x such that what is the common property possessed by all the elements of this set is a vowel x is a vowel in english alphabet that is the property x is a vowel in english alphabet this is the set builder form of this set clear how can we read this b equal to this set notation is read as um, set of all set of all x this corner is read as such that set of all x such that set of all x such that x is a vowel in english alphabet s equal to set of all x such that x is a real number and one less than or equal x less than or equal to five clear now write this fact into your notebook that is our second uh, method to represent a set set builder form or rule method in set builder form the set is represented by stating the single common characteristic property possessed by all the elements of the set example that a b the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5 a b the set of all real numbers from 1 to 5 then what is a set builder form a c equals set of all x such that x is a real number and 1 less than or equal x less than or equal 5 another example that b be the set of all vowels in english alphabet then b is equal set of all x such that x is a vowel in english alphabet and third example c be the set of all prime numbers what is the meaning of prime number a number having only two factors example 2 3 5 etc then how can we write it in set builder form c is equal to set of all x such that what is the common property x is a prime number set of all x such that x is a prime number okay write this in your notebook hope all of you finished now we are going to learn some standard set this all sets are number sets okay first one is the set of all natural numbers which are the set of all natural numbers which is the set of all natural number set 1 2 3 4 etc then the notation of this set is n notation of this set is n we use this notation to represent the set of all natural numbers here n is right, uh, written in a particular way a double line is used here keep in mind when we write n like this without any explanation we can say it is a set of all natural numbers and n is equal to set 1 2 3 4 this is the a standard notation this notation is not only used in india but also everywhere in the world by n we mean the set of all natural numbers okay when we add or when we include zero to this set this set become what the set of all whole numbers symbol is w W is equal set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Okay. When we give negative sign to these numbers, 1, negative 2, 3, 4, etc. And add to this set, we get the set of all integers. Okay. The set of all integers. The set of all integers symbol is Z. And Z is equal to set minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Do you know what is the reason behind this notation? Z? Yes is that here w is came from the whole number and n is came from natural number then z is came from word it is from a german word zahlen zahlen means number a german word zahlen zahlen means number the first letter of the uh, word zahlen is z okay 
from that word the symbol is derived clear now the fourth one is the set of all rational numbers what is the set of all rational numbers notation is q and q is equal what is a rational number a number of the form p by q or p and q are integers and q not equal zero set of all x such that the common property possessed by all the elements of the set of all rational numbers is x is equal to p by q or p and q are integers p and q belongs to z means they are integers and q not equal zero when q equal zero p by zero is not defined zero is an integer but q not equal to zero this is a symbol this is a set builder form of the set of all rational numbers we cannot write set of all rational numbers in roster form okay then the reason behind this symbol q is an italian word that is quotient question the first letter of the word question is what q therefore we use this symbol q the symbol is first given by piano in 1895 he was a great mathematician and logician uh, he gave the symbol q in 1895 and uh, quotient by from quotient this number is this numbers rational numbers is also called quotient numbers quotient numbers this is a, this is of quotient form therefore this uh, rational numbers is also called quotient numbers the example for rational numbers 2 negative 5 3 by 7 etc 2 can be written as 2 by 1 then it is of the form p by p by q minus 5 can be written as minus 5 by 1 then it is of the form p by q 3 by 7 is uh, almost uh, is of the form p by q okay then there are some numbers some real numbers which are not rational which are not rational these numbers are called irrational numbers okay its symbol is t and t is equal set of all x such that x is a real number but it is not rational x is not rational real number but not rational is called irrational numbers example root 3 pi e root 2 root 2 root 5 root 7 root 6 etc square root of all numbers which are not perfect squares are irrational numbers okay and uh, six one is the set of all real numbers what is this symbol r and r equal set of all x such that x is rational or irrational rational numbers and irrational numbers rational numbers or irrational numbers are together called uh, set of all real numbers clear when we uh, use a plus sign here uh, as a superscript of z then it is uh, uh, th this symbol is meant for set of all positive integers set of all positive integers then what is uh, meant by q plus it is a set of all positive rational numbers and what is the meaning of r plus this is set of all positive real numbers one more set is there its symbol is c and uh, it represent the set of all complex numbers that we will learn in our chapter number 5 complex numbers and quadratic equation c is a set of all complex numbers okay these all are the standard sets these all are the standard set keep in mind n represents set of all natural numbers z represents set of all integers q represents set of all rational numbers r represent set of all real numbers z plus q plus r plus represent set of all uh, uh, numbers uh, positive numbers okay now today's uh, class is over in the next class we will discuss the problem section relating to roster form and set builder form in that section we want to convert roster form into set builder form and set builder form into roster form okay so you must have a thorough idea about today's theory class before attending next class hope all of you will learn today's class thoroughly before attending next class let us stop here thank you for watching have a nice day